I want to show you an easier way to find the future value uh, for multiple cash flows on an HP 12C financial calculator. So suppose you want to find the future value of the series of cash flows. You've got the first cash flow, um, CF1, you have to bring it out to time period T. And how do you do that? The future value is the cash flow times 1 plus the interest rate raised to the t minus 1 power. Remember, you're not starting in year 0, so going from year 1 to year t is t minus 1 periods. Cash flow in year 2 grows by t minus 2 periods, etc. The last cash flow grows by t minus t periods. So that's t minus t is 0, anything raised to the 0 power is 1. Essentially, we're saying, as soon as you make that last deposit, let's add up what's in our account. Now, it's a little bit tedious to do if you have a lot of cash flows. Let's take a look at, a, at an example. So suppose you have a series of cash flows, 100 in year 1, 200 in year 2, 300 in year 3, and 400 in year 4. Suppose the interest rate is 10%. Well, we find the future value of each one of these. And we can, we can verify this if we want using the calculator. So again, to clear your calculator, you hit the function key, the, um, the orange one with an F. And over this X and Y here, it says clear financial functions. So let's see if we can do that. This is going to be three periods. Three is N. The interest rate is 10% and the present value was 100 PV and if we hit FV we get 133.10 and we can do that for all of these cash flows and then we just add them up. Now you know if this isn't too bad because there's only four cash flows and the final cash flow is already in its future value so that's not too bad but if there were 10 or 15 or 20 cash flows it would be quite tedious to find the future value of each individual one. So is there a better way, right? Is there a better way than just taking everything out to the future? The easier way is to take advantage of the cash flow worksheet and rather than finding the future value, let's find the present value of all these cash flows and then we'll have a lump sum that we can just simply find the future value of. The beauty of this is that while many financial calculators do not find the future value of a series of cash flows they all find the present value of a series of cash flows so in this case we're going to bring everything back to the present so we're going to find the present value of this by discounting it by um, 1 plus r to the first power taking the second cash flow discounting it by 1 plus r to the second power etc now we have a lump sum here, this PV, and we simply find the future value of that lump sum. So let's go back to our example. Here's our financial calculator. Again, let's clear our workspace, so function key, clear all the financials, and let's see if we can do that. Okay, the first cash flow is 100, and if you hit this light blue G, I don't know how well you can see it, but under the PMT key, it says CFJ. So that we're able to put in the first cash flow. So let me hit that. So I've put in the first cash flow. The second is 200. Again, hit the G and that. Just do this for all the rest of them. 300 function cash flow 3 and then 400. Um, for cash flow 4, we put in the interest rate of 10%, which is I, and then we want to calculate net present value. So if you've taken finance before, that present value is just the present value of the cash flows um, subtracting out the cost. We didn't put anything in the cost function, which would be this green, uh, this light blue button under the PF, uh, PV sign, right? That would be the cost of the project and it would subtract it out. So let's just hit the function key and over the PV key is NPV and we get 754.80.
Now we have a lump sum in year zero, and we can simply find the future value of that is 754.80, 1.10 to the fourth power. And again, let's do that on our financial calculator to make sure this works. Okay, I'm going to clear everything out of here, clear the financial functions. And what do we have? We have n is 4, that's the number of periods. We have 10% as the interest rate. And in the financial calculator, you put in the whole number for the interest rate. 754.80 is our PV. And we just hit the future value button and we get, oops, sorry about that, $1,105.10. So that's a much easier, much simpler way to calculate the future value of a series of cash flows by taking advantage of this cash flow worksheet that allows us to calculate NPV and then just finding the future value of this series of cash flows.